Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Coming to you today on our third day of prayer and fasting that we're doing as a community this week in preparation for our Come Holy Spirit conference that begins on Thursday. So as we enter this day, I want to just open with a prayer and then we'll pray through our daily guide uh, for the prayer and fasting that we're doing together. So would you pray with me? Lord, we come to you this morning and we desire to see more and more healing in the people that we love and care about. We desire to see you move in power on the lives of those that are suffering and hurting today and on our own lives, God. So would you be with us and meet with us as we pray today for healing? Amen. So our topic today is healing. That is our focus. And let me read a scripture for you from Luke 4, 40 to 41. It says, as the sun went down that evening, people throughout the village brought sick family members to Jesus. No matter what their diseases were, the touch of his hand healed everyone. Many were possessed by demons, and the demons came out at his command, shouting, you are the son of God. But because they knew he was the Messiah, he rebuked them and refused to let them speak. So today, our focus for prayer is on healing of all kinds, emotional, relational, relational, physical, and spiritual. And as we read this scripture in the Gospels, we see that when Jesus uh, touched people, they were healed of their diseases, and they were set free of their oppression. And that was Jesus' purpose as he came to us, as the Father sent him, was to set us free, as Jeff talked about freedom yesterday, to set us free in our whole life, our physical life, our emotional life, our spiritual life, and in our relationships. And so today, as we pray, we want to pray for ourselves and for others and for the conference that's coming up. And before I pray through these different um, prayer points, I just want to talk a little bit about um, the reality of what happens when we pray for healing and we don't see it happen. So you may not know this yet, but we have been praying for one of our church members, Denise, uh, for the last several weeks because she's been in critical condition. And our prayer has always been that she would see God's goodness in the land of the living. That's our heart. That's our desire. But she did pass away last night about midnight. And so she is healed, but it's not here. It's not with us. And that's painful. And that's hard. And I want to acknowledge that. And I don't fully understand how this all works. Um, I know I want to see more and more of God's healing power in the land of the living. And so that's what I keep praying for. And that's what I keep asking God for. And that's what I hang on to as hard things happen in spite of our prayers, that our world is broken, that we live in an in-between time where we see the kingdom of God break in and do great things, and that we sometimes don't see the answer that we want. So as we pray today, and as you pray throughout the day, remember that God is with us, that in these hard times, remember the places of God's goodness in your life, Remember your desire to see good things happen in the land of the living. And so don't stop praying. Keep asking, keep knocking, keep coming and asking God to do mighty things. Always knowing that he is the creator of the universe and each one of us and that we want to see his kingdom come and his will be done. So let's pray today 
for ourselves. Let's pray for others who are in need of any type of healing today. And let's pray for our conference that we would see God's hand move in the land of the living. Let's pray. Lord, I come to you this morning and it is with a heavy heart. I come with a desire to have seen Denise healed and yet I know she is and she's in your presence this morning. So Lord, for all my friends who may be hurting and especially for her daughter Joy and her friend Jackie, I pray that you would give them comfort today that you would hold them close, that you would minister to their hearts and walk with them in their grief as you will walk with each one of us in ours. And so, Lord, heal our hearts as we walk through hard things. And, Lord, today we do still continue to pray for others who are in need of a touch from you, who need physical healing I pray for Justin Horton's father, Gary, this morning, that you would come and you would be the healer for his lungs, that you would bring life to his body today, and that you would set him free from the effects of COVID and from the cancer that he's fighting. We pray that in your name, Jesus, let your kingdom come today. And Lord, we pray for all those others that are struggling with physical illnesses, with emotional illnesses, Lord, with relational damage in their lives, and with spiritual needs. Lord, would you let your kingdom come today and your will be done in each life? We need you so much, Lord. Our world needs your healing. And Lord, as we approach our conference this week, I ask that we would see miraculous things, that we would continue to hope and pray and cry out to you to see miraculous things, people healed of physical diseases, people's emotions set free, people's relationships mended and reconciled, and people drawn to you so that they can know your great love and forgiveness and hope for their lives. So Lord, as we fast today and come before you throughout the day, would you remind us of your love and your mercy, of your healing power and presence? And would you let your kingdom come today and your will be done? Amen. So as we go through our day, friends, I just ask that God would bless you as you're fasting, whether it's from food or something else, that when you are feeling that desire or that hunger, that you would turn to God today. And that as you turn to God, you would just ask him to show you his goodness in the land of the living and ask that for your friends and all those around you that need a healing touch from Jesus today. Bless you, friends, as you go into your work day. Have a wonderful day.